So in the last few weeks, I acquired a few books. Now, I like to think of myself as someone who doesn't buy a lot of books, but I do have to admit that ever since trying to focus more on books on this channel, I feel the need to buy more books. And I know that that is not rational, that I shouldn't buy books just to make videos. Um, but but um, it does happen. And just because I also started my bookstagram, I get a lot more recommendations about books and some books are just more on my radar now than they were before. And so I have started buying more books. Also, I'm reading more now. So I do have the feeling that I will get into these quicker than I usually would have. So I also try not to feel too guilty about it because I do know that I'm going to get to all of these soon. Some of them I'm already reading. So we're doing well, I would say. <laughs> Almost all of these books are secondhand. I think it's very important to try and lessen our impact on the environment and stuff like that. So most of the books that I buy are secondhand, and if they're new, they're usually just from a local bookstore to support, you know, the indie booksellers. <laughs> so let's just get into it. The X Hex by Erin Sterling. I briefly talked about this one in another video that I did recently, which was all of my unread books. And so since I've made that video, I've acquired a few more. Um, so <laughs> this is already an addition to that video. Um, but the X-Hex is about this witch in modern times who gets broken up with and curses her ex-boyfriend and things happen. This is apparently a fun, cozy fantasy read. Um, it's like present day, supposed to be funny and cute. And I'm actually really looking forward to reading it, um, but I just want to give it the right time. Then I also bought In Charms Away by Lana Harper. I'm not sure if it's Lana or Lena. Also about witches. <laughs> um, and this is actually the fourth novel in a series, but it can be read as a standalone, I hope. This is about Delilah. She's a witch and a few months ago she had her memories erased. Um, but apparently I've read a few of the first pages. She used to have a photographic memory, so she doesn't have that anymore. She feels really bad about it and she's trying to pick up her life. And apparently she's going to meet someone and it's a little bit of a romance. It's a queer romance. So this is a sapphic read, which I'm excited about. As I said, I already read the first few pages. I read up until page 24 and I was really enjoying it, but I had to set it aside for a different book. And the different book that I'm reading is also in this video. <laughs> but um, I am very looking forward to getting back into this and if I like this then I will probably also get the first three books in this series because I think what's happened is that this book, um, the main character, is the sister of the main character in the first three books. So it's kind of like related but it's a different story. From what I've read I really like the magic system so it's modern day setting again but of course there's witches and they do magic. Next is At Your Age, Eve Brown by Talia Hibbert. And this is actually also the third book in a series, but it can be read as a standalone, I hope. And this was very funny because I was watching a video by the book Leo about her favorite romance novels and why some people love romance and why some people don't. And she mentioned that Talia Hibbert was one of her favorites and that she especially loved this trilogy. Two days afterwards, I walked past the little free library that's in my neighborhood and it had this one. And I was like, this is a sign. <laughs> I need to get it now. This is a romance and it's apparently with the, there's only one bed trope, forced proximity, you know, rivals to lovers, all that good stuff. So I'm definitely looking forward to reading this fluffy, fun, silly, but not too silly romance. And I really enjoy the book Leo's videos about all of the books that she reads. And I do have to admit that we don't have the exact same taste in books, but I do feel like this is one that she loves and that I will love too, so. And I actually also saw the first book in a trilogy in the secondhand bookstore that I was at a few days ago, but I was just like, no. <laughs> 
I feel like this is already a lot of books to buy without having like a proper, you know, without having like a proper timeline of when I'm gonna read it. So I decided against it. I figured if I like this, then I can buy the first one and the second one. Next up is Magnolia Parts by Jessa Hastings. I saw this at the secondhand bookstore. I didn't buy it. I made a video, a short or a reel on Instagram about it. And then a ton of people were like, you should have bought it. <laughs> And then I went back and it was still there, which I was very happy about. And, you know, I was lucky because it was a secondhand bookstore. You only get one chance, so to speak. And so I went back and got it. The reason why I didn't buy it the first time is I had heard a lot of good things about it. But when I read the back and when I read the first few pages, or maybe like just a part of the first page is actually what I mean. I felt like it was a little bit too young and I don't know what, why I got that vibe, but just... I don't know. I don't know. It just it just felt a little too YA, but apparently it's not YA. <laughs> and uh, so when someone mentioned that it's not young at all, then I went back and got it. So yeah. Oh, and this is a this is a romance. This is about Magnolia Park. She's a London socialite. She has this thing kind of with some guy called BJ, which I think is the worst nickname. She has a kind of a thing with him where they're kind of like will they won't they and he's sleeping around and she's sleeping around but like they obviously have a thing for each other like he's a bad boy and she's like this posh and I have no idea what happens next <laughs> but it's it's it sounds like it's good. I also skipped ahead and read like a random page and that page was intriguing to me so that's how I decided to finally get it. Cloud Atlas by David Mitchell. This I also briefly talked about in my previous video. I got this at a secondhand bookstore as well in Amsterdam. And basically I had heard a lot about this book. I heard that it was supposedly good. It's a chronicle of a family through the generations. I think it's about like maybe the time span is a century or something like that. I do kind of like that sort of book and I was skimming through it and I saw <laughs> letters from Zedelhem. And Zedelhem is a town in West Flanders, in Belgium, so I felt like it was decent and I took this with me. <laughs> I have to say that I read the first few pages and I actually wasn't really excited about it after I bought the book. Um, so I'm actually not sure if I'm gonna like this book. So it's gonna stay on my TBR for a while, I think, but I will get to it eventually. And then lastly, I bought House of Flame and Shadow by Sarah Damas. This is the only new book that I bought and um, I'm already almost halfway through. I'm making a reading vlog about it, but I have to admit that I like certain parts a lot and then I dislike other parts a lot also. Um, so yes, this is a third book in the Crescent City series by Sarah Damas. I've read House of Earth and Blood and House of Sky and Breath very recently, right before this came out. And so when it came out, I decided to get it right away and take off where I left. This, if you have read any Sarah J Maas, if you've read the Akatar series, this is a spoiler for you. But in this book, characters from the Akatar series and the Crescent City series meet. And I actually loved that. I was like, oh my god, yes, I want more interactions. Some of my favorite characters from across the series are meeting and talking and having a good time. I mean, a good time. Um, <laughs> but, but, but after a few pages, after I think 150 pages, they stop meeting. <laughs> and I'm desperately waiting for them to meet again because I enjoyed that part. And I also enjoyed a lot of the history that was being told in the book. Um, but the other stuff that's happening, I don't really care about. If you don't know what the Crescent City series is about, it's a fantasy series, it's urban fantasy. So it's a modern day setting with phones and computers and stuff, but people can have magical powers. So there's witches, there's fae, there's vampires, shifters, all that kind of stuff. And Bryce, she is half fae, half human, and she's just like a normal 23 year old. But then one night, one of her friends gets killed and her life is turned upside down and she starts kind of an investigation to find out what happens. So that's the first book. And then the second book, you know, goes on from there. And the third book obviously goes on from there too. So it's the same characters, 
but like the stakes are a lot higher the world has expanded quite a lot i do have to admit that i prefer the first one up till now so we'll see how things progress maybe it gets better but we will see also a book that i don't have yet but that i've ordered from vintage is our wives under the sea i forget the author's name but i will write it here that is kind of like a mystery fiction like horror maybe book i'm not sure it's for the book club that i'm part of and it's about this lesbian couple one of them she is a marine biologist or something she goes under the sea with a submarine for a few weeks on an expedition i think and when she returns she has changed in ways that i don't understand yet <laughs> um and we see how that affects their relationship and that's all i know about it i I'm kind of afraid of reading it because I don't really like horror. <laughs> um, but I do have to admit, there's a lot of gore in this one as well. So maybe I can handle it because I can handle that. So we'll see how it's written and see how bad it is. If you want to know more about the books that I've actually already read, you can take a look at my every book I read in 2023 video. Of course, it's a few weeks old, but you still will get some good recommendations. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!